Let's take a look at the challenge intersection. The challenge says construct a function intersection that compares input arrays and returns a new array with elements found in all of the inputs. Bonus, use reduce. For this approach, we're actually not going to use reduce. We're just going to emulate the logic that we would be using if we were using reduce. So then you can go back and you can try to do the bonus yourself. So first let's define our input. Our input is just going to be an array of arrays and then our output it's going to be a singular array. Let's define the function intersection. It takes an array of arrays, so let's call the parameter arrays. Now let's get into the pseudocode. First, we're going to define an accumulator, just like we were using reduce. And this is going to start out as one of our arrays. And we're going to create a loop and we're going to th loop through our array of arrays. We'll compare our current array with our accumulator. And for each element, in current if that element exists in our accumulator we're actually going to push that element into a new array and then once we've iterated through all of current we're going to reassign accumulator to the value of new array. Finally, after we've finished our loop through the array of arrays, we will return our accumulator. So we've outlined our strategy. At this time, I would encourage you to go back and try to solve the problem implementing this strategy. And then if you get stuck, feel free to come back I'm actually going to leave this, the, the block of pseudocode outside of the body of the function just to keep it a little cleaner. So let's define our accumulator. Let accumulator equal, and we're going to start it out as one of our initial arrays, right? So let's use the pop method to take off the last value of our array and actually shorten our array. And then if we continue to pop off each element as we compare it, then we can use a while loop and check while our arrays have array of arrays has length, then we will continue to iterate through. And then we will define a variable current. Assign it to the value of the last array in arrays popped off. And then we'll iterate through current for each element. If that element exists in accumulator, if acc dot includes element, let's push something to a new array. So let's define a new array const. If our accumulator has that element, we will push element into new array. Otherwise, we do nothing. And then finally, inside of our while loop, every time we've gone all the way through the current array we're working on, we want to redefine our accumulator to be equal to the new array that we've just created. And then ultimately, we want to return accumulator. So let's comment out our test cases, or comment our test cases back in, rather. Then we run that code. We end up with 5 and 15. 
So if that makes sense to you and you were able to implement this, I would encourage you to try to go back and implement this same logic using the reduce method that we learned.